Hi guys, welcome to SA Technical. In this video, I am going to show you how to fix blue screen error with stop code, bad pole color in Windows 11 and Windows 10. Stop code 0x000000C2 bad pole color. This is a blue screen of death error in Windows operating system. The bad pole color blue screen of death error indicates that a thread in the computer's processor made a bad pull request. This error generally points to issues with hardware, drivers or software corruption. Here are some common reasons behind this error. Number 1. Outdated or corrupted device drivers can cause bad pull caller error. Number 2. Recently installed or updated driver might be incompatible with the system. Number 3. Defective RAM or hard drive issues can trigger this BSOD. Number 4. Problems with other hardware component like motherboard, CPU or GPU might also be reason behind this error. Number 5. Recently installed software, particularly system level utility or antiviruses program can cause conflict leading to this error. Number 6. Incompatible or corrupt software can also be reason. Number 7. Corrupt or missing system files can cause various error including the bad pull caller BSOD. Number 8. File system corruption due to improper shutdown or system crashes. Number 9. Malware or viruses can damage system files or interfere with system operations can cause this error. And number 10, improper system settings or BIOS configuration can sometimes lead to this error. However, don't worry, to fix stop code bad pull caller error, follow these steps in order. So, let's get started. Note, performing a driver update or rollback directly from a BSOD error screen is not possible. However, you can use safe mode to access your system if it repeatedly crashes or fails to boot normally. Here's how you can update or roll back drivers using safe mode. First, restart your computer and repeatedly press F8 or Shift F8 during initial startup process. If this does not work, interrupt the boot process three times by power of the system during startup to trigger the Windows recovery environment. After the restart, you will see a list of options. Press 4 or F4 to start in safe mode. Also, you can press 5 or F5 to start in safe mode with networking. And in that case, make sure your PC is connected with the internet through the Ethernet connection. Press Windows plus X key combination and select a device manager. Alternatively, you can search for Device Manager in Start menu. In the Device Manager, find the device category that needs the driver update or rollback. For example, if it's a display driver, look under Display Adapters. Right click on specific device and select Update Driver. Choose Search automatically for update driver software to let Windows search online for latest driver. Or you can browse your computer for driver software if you have appropriate driver file downloaded. After updating the driver, restart your computer to apply the changes and hopefully your problem will be solved. If not solved, go back to safe mode and go to device manager. Right click on the specific device and select properties. Go to the driver tab and click on rollback driver button if available. Follow the prompts to complete the rollback. After updating or rollback the driver, restart your computer to apply the changes. After rebooting, check once if the error persists. If the problem persists, restart your computer and repeatedly press F8 or Shift F8 during initial startup process. If this does not work, interrupt the boot process three times by pressing the power button. Then it will take you to Windows recovery environment. Once in WinRE, select Troubleshoot. In Troubleshoot menu, select Advanced option. Then select Command Prompt. 
in the command prompt window, type mdschd and press enter. Now, you will be prompted to restart your computer and run the test immediately or schedule it for next restart. Choose the appropriate option. The Windows Memory Diagnostic tool will run after the computer restarts. It will check your RAM for errors and display the results once the test is complete. Please note the result for further reference or further troubleshooting. Next, in the Troubleshoot menu, select Advanced option. Select Command Prompt. In the Command Prompt window, you will need to identify the drive letter where Windows is installed because this might not be always C drive in recovery environment. In the command prompt window, type chkdsk your drive letter of your HDD or SSD colon space for slash f space for slash r space for slash x and press enter. The for slash f flag fixes any error found. For slash r located bad sectors and recovers reliable information and for slash x forces the volume to dismount before the process start. Note, if the drive is currently in used, you will be prompted to schedule the check for next restart. The tool will scan the drive and attempt to fix any error and provide a summary of the findings once the process is complete. If not solved, try this third method. Performing an offline system file check from the Windows recovery environment allows you to scan and repair corrupted system files that may be causing issue including BSUD errors. In order to continue, you should have a Windows installation USB. If you don't have, then here's a certain tutorial for you. Now insert your Windows installation USB and restart your computer and go to your PC's BIOS to boot from that. Now click on next and click on repair your computer. Once in WinRE, select troubleshoot and select command prompt. In the command prompt window, you will need to identify the drive letter where Windows is installed because this might not be always C drive in recovery environment. To find the correct drive letter, type disk part and press enter. Then type list volume and press enter. Now look for the volume that matches the size of your Windows installation drive and note its drive letter. Next type exit to leave the disk part and return to the command prompt. Now you can run offline system file checker. Type sfc space for slash scan now space for slash off booter equals to drive letter of your Windows installation colon backward slash space for slash off winder space your drive letter of your Windows installation colon backward slash windows and press enter. This command tells SFC to scan the Windows directory located on the specified drive. The SFC tool will scan the integrity of the all protected system files and attempt to repair any files with problems. This may take some time, so keep patience. Once the scan is complete, you will see a message indicating whether any corrupt system files were found and repaired. Please note the result for further reference or further troubleshooting. Now reboot once, after that hopefully your problem will be solved. Running virus or malware scans from the Windows recovery environment can be effective way to identify 
and remove infections might be causing system instability, crashes or BSOD errors. Here's a step by step guide on how to do this. First, go to WinRE by following first method. In the troubleshooting menu, select advanced option. Then select command prompt. In the command prompt window, you will need to identify the drive letter where Windows is installed because this might not be always C drive in recovery environment. In the command prompt, type cd space forward slash d space your system drive letter colon backward slash program files backward slash windows defender and press enter. Next type mpcmd run.exe space hyphen scan space hyphen scan type space 2 and press enter. This command runs a full system scan using Windows Defender offline. Now keep patience until the scanning process is completed. After that, check once, hopefully your problem will be solved. Resetting BIOS settings to default and checking system configuration can help resolve this issue caused by incorrect BIOS settings or hardware configuration. To do that, first restart your computer and press the appropriate key repeatedly to enter the BIOS or UEFI setup. Common keys are F2, F10, Delete or Escape. Once you are in the BIOS or UEFI setup, look for an option to reset the settings to default. This option usually found under the Exit or Save and Exit menu. It may be labeled as Load Setup Defaults, Load Default Settings, Restore Defaults or something similar. Select the option to load default settings and confirm any prompts to apply the changes. This action will reset all the BIOS settings to their default values. After that, save the changes and exit from the BIOS or UEFI setup. This is typically done by selecting Save and Exit. After restarting the BIOS, ensure that hardware components are correctly configured according to your needs. Now save configuration changes and exit from the BIOS. After that, check once, hopefully your problem will be solved. If system is still unstable, then you can perform a system reset by following this method. But before resetting your PC, I will suggest you to perform restore the system to a previous point when it was working properly. If you don't know how to perform restore operation, then here's a detailed tutorial on system restore and I'm sure one of these resolutions will definitely help to resolve your problem. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If you have any question or any advanced guide then please let us know. Please like, comment and share. We need your support and guys please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.